Hiya fashion fans and welcome to another historical fashion fix. This week it's all about wigs, stockings and makeup. You've guessed it, this week we're going to be making over a Georgian man. So let's meet him now. Hi Daniel. Hi. Let's see if we can't work some fashion fix magic and turn you into an authentic Georgian aristocrat. Hi. Let's sort out that skin. He's looking pretty pale. I haven't eaten in a week. But he could do with being a lot paler, so I've stuck some leeches oh. on his arm. Oh. But he's still not pale enough for a Georgian aristocrat. So to make Daniel even whiter, you could use chalk dust, but I prefer to use highly toxic lead paint. Just add some lipstick and blusher, and let's see the difference. There, much more manly. Do you like it, Daniel? Of course he does, he loves it. Now let's do something about those awful clothes. Well, at least I can't look any more ridiculous. I stand corrected. Every bit the Georgian gent. And that padding really accentuates Daniel's lovely calves. What are you doing? Just time for the finishing touches. The wig. The wig is held in place using powder <laughs> made from flour, starch, nutmeg, and of course, gold dust. There, looking good, but there's one thing missing. No Georgian gent is complete without some lice in his wig. How do you like your look, Daniel? You look like a poodle on a cushion. Some people just can't wear good clothes. You have given me nothing for this programme, absolutely nothing. That's it this week from Fashion Fix. Join me next time when I'll be teaching a Stone Age caveman that it's better to wear some clothes for once. See ya. Posh Georgian men who dressed up like that were known as macaronis. <laughs> Not sure why. Presumably because they'd look better covered in cheese. <laughs> Mind you, I think everything looks better covered in cheese. <laughs> <laughs>